All right, I'm on hole number four of the 2020 Community Cup. I'm in Tuesday's qualifying round in the rookie division. I'm in my 77 count, upper developed clubs. Playdemic is starting. Playdemic might be starting to piss me off. I am. I'm on the verge of of being a little irritated. The grid. When I open up Golf Clash, if I close it out and go in and upload a video, and then I come back, my grid disappears, and I have to go in and fire it back up again. Yesterday, I opened up every program. I had it on all day long. I was on my tablet. I was doing all kinds of stuff, and that grid was on there all day, and I didn't turn it off, even though sometimes it was in my way. I didn't turn it off, and I never had a single problem. And then I fired up Golf Clash, and my grid disappeared. And I don't know if they've put something in their programming or they've got some deal, but it just seems coincidental to me. I'll put my tin hat on it. It just seems coincidental that the only program that I fire up that makes my grid disappear, and i got to go turn it back on, is golf clash when if you if i had an apple device it would be an inherent part of the programming and golf clash couldn't mess with it and so that seems a little uh, unfair to me i'm not i'm not saying that that's the absolute fact but that's what it seems like right now and i'm going to keep testing that because i'm i'm unsure why it keeps disappearing only when i open up golf clash hole number four let's check it out and yes if you have a apple device you have it inherently in your thing, and there is no way in the world that Golf Clash is going to mess with Apple. Or Warner Brothers is going to mess with Apple. All right. What I need to do is ask some people that, that play with the app, that actually play with the app on, and see if it turns off the grid, or if they have problems with the overlay, or if it's just a problem with Material Q. But I haven't had any problems with any other program. All right, so I'm coming at this with a, and I'm going to try something. I'm trying something different here because I'm still working this hole. This is a hole that I'm still working. I know that I can get up there and get the eagle, but what I'm trying to do is increase my odds to get Albie, and, and I'm working several things. Number one, I'm still working the wind adjustment. Is this, this is the wrong freaking hole. Hole number, hole number one. So when we get to that hole, I'm working that hole. This hole, I got this down. Sniper katana, rough bump, maximum left hand side spin, quarter top spin, one per ring, 20% wind adjustment. <laughs> and I'm going to wash the dishes and solve world peace before I can get all that done. <laughs> yeah, we're making all this stuff and we have 30 seconds to do it. This is why we practice because you want to get these things down so that you're not, you're not trying to to do 15 things at the same time. You want some of this to be muscle memory where you just do it. So maximum left-hand side spin, quarter top spin. That's the first thing you do. And then you set it up so that it's going right at the cup. Then you make your wind adjustment, one per ring, 20%. All right, I'm ready. I've got this imaged in my mind. I'm ready to roll. Oh my gosh, I used my finger to push two, two things there. Yes, I use a stylus. I'm waiting for Playdemic to come out and say we can't use implements. I did think it was kind of funny that they said they, they don't have a problem with using a calculator. <laughs> All right. All right. I don't have a problem with us using a calculator. I don't use a calculator. I try and do all the math in my head. All right. Maximum left-hand side spin, about a quarter top spin. Now I'm going to find the spot where I'm going right at the cup. I'm going to go right at it. And I want to be on that side of the flagpole. 20% wind adjustment. That's 2, 6. That's 5, 2. So that's 3, 1, 2. And I'm just going to say 3. 1, 3, 3, 1. There's 3. And my rings are distorted here, so I'm extrapolating where the rings are based off where it is on the on the fairway, not what it's doing in the in the sand. Hitting it perfect. Give myself a look at it. See if I got any of that right. And my distance was way the hell off there. What was the deal on that? What did I do wrong there? No, that was not well played. That was not even close to being well played. That was unacceptable. I'll have to go back and watch what I did on the wind ring adjustments there. One of the things I don't like, and I actually contemplated this in my notes last night when I made these notes, was instead of bringing a katana, bringing a kingmaker, because I'm right there at the red line. 
And the reason I was thinking about bringing a Kingmaker is it pushes the red line a little forward so that I can get my setup spot on the rough would be in front of the sand. So when I go to do my ring adjustment, I'm not having to engage that sand to do my ring adjustments because the sand is distorting the rings. And I think I'm going to make a note here. I'm I, the next time I play is when I play this this afternoon in my in my prox account, my odd odd account. I'm still trying to dial in a few of these holes, and I'm going to switch my I'm going to switch to a kingmaker to see if I can get where I can make that wind adjustment a little bit better because the the sand there is distorting the rings, and I don't think I made a great wind adjustment there. Is, is why I ended up to the right. And, I, and I'm not going to worry about the distance because I think my distance was off because of I was so far off to the right. And that damn near didn't make it. That would have been upsetting. <laughs> All right, that was hole four. And I, I may make a change on that. I like the other stuff. And if I do make a change to the Kingmaker, that's going to push me forward a little bit. And it's going to change that quarter top spin. So I'll have to make an adjustment for that. But I'm going to definitely try the Kingmaker and see if I can get in front of the sand. And I know that I used to come at this hole with a navigator from the back if you're doing the bounce over. And I switched there to a katana so that I could put more side spin on it so that I would take the sand out of the adjustment on that shot as well because the sand kept screwing me up it kept distorting the rings hey good luck all right that was hole number four of the 2020 community cup and tuesday's qualifying round in the rookie division thanks for watching